fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday, the 14th of January, 2023. If we are one of those per people who say, I live for the weekend, what are you doing here? You call this living? <laughs> Surely there must be better things to do if you live for the weekend. Uh, so that means that the rest of the audience, uh, or probably 100% of the audience, don't live for the weekend. But anyway, it's the weekend. It is here, certainly here in Bangkok. Of course, it might not yet be the weekend where you are. Um, I like to see what human beings are doing, weirdly. Uh, um, it often surprises me. I just saw something in The Guardian while looking for this puzzle uh, about mermaids, human, <laughs> humans, women who dress up as mermaids, put on a tail and go swimming in a tank. I had never heard of such a thing before, but apparently it's quite common in aquaria around the world. <laughs> I never had any idea that such a thing existed. <laughs> it doesn't make me angry. It doesn't make me... Um, you know, desperately want to go and see a mermaid swimming in a tank. I think it's fine. You know, I don't see a problem with it or anything like that, as long as they're not uh, antagonizing the fish. But <laughs> just what a weird thing to do. Um, I like to be surprised by human behavior. I think it's all quite fascinating, generally. When it, uh, and most of the cases, it's normally benign, isn't it? It's only sometimes when it turns to be nasty for some reason or another that it's something we have to speak out against. But human behavior is often surprising in a good way, I think. And I see nothing wrong with being a mermaid, if that's your calling. I say if that's your calling, maybe that should be that's, that's your siren, maybe. Uh, let's get on to... Uh, the game of Sudoku as played in The Guardian on a Saturday, which they label as Expert. Ta-da! Yes, here we are. It's a Saturday. It's The Guardian. It's an expert level game, and I have no idea just how tricky it's going to be. Sometimes very tricky, sometimes not at all tricky. So we'll just get on and see. Um... Seems to be a bit noisy outside the house here. I'm not sure what's going on out there. It's not like there. Maybe there are some workmen out there or something. Okay, we have four blocking up here and across here. So that's going to put four in those squares. Let's drag the highlighting across the screen to indicate where the fours cannot go and a four up here. So that gives me a four there. Let's do the same down here, shall we? And across here. And let's go this way as well. And that's going to put a four there. There is one left. We'd better do it before somebody gets really angry. Okay, there we go. I see something. I see a little pattern. In fact, I can see more than a little pattern. I was just about to tell you that I can see one and five in this column. So that puts one and five here. But I can see more than that because now I see that the five actually blocks that square two. So that's our five. And oh, that's our one. Excuse me. If I can hit the right key, hitting the wrong key in Sudoku is not recommended. One across here and one up here. Let's extend it northwards. We have one in either this square or this square. Don't know which one yet, but either way, it will block up the rest of that column. We have a one blocking here. Let's get a digit one there. I can see threes blocking up these two columns and a three blocking across here. And there is our three. Then I can see three across these two rows and a three up here. Here's another three. Let's have a quick look through. Okay, we have one blocking down here, so one in one of these squares blocking down. This one still blocks down here, across here, and across here. 
So there's our digit one. Okay, we have five blocking this square, five blocking this square, and five blocking this square. So let's place a five there, and five across, and across here, and down here. Seven like this, <coughs> excuse me. Um, <clears throat> okay, now let's uh, investigate other things. So what's missing up here? We're looking for um, 2, 8, and 9. Oh, we've got 2, we've got an 8, we've got a 9, one in each square. Okay, well, that's 2, 8, and 9. We've got 1 here. We've got 3 anywhere. 2, 8, 9, 1, 3, 5s there. And six is oh, it's one of those. So <laughs> these are all kind of uh, pairs, more mm, well, except for the threes, I guess. Um, I can't do that just yet, but it's going to be revealing. Get one of them, probably get the others pretty quickly. I suspect it's going to be one of those things. What's missing from this column? We're looking for two, six, and nine. Is that right? Okay, um, let's have a look down here. What are we looking for? Two, six, seven, I think. Okay, so the twos are going to be here. Let's see if we can get anything else on the twos. What do we know about twos? Let's see. Um, not enough just yet. Okay. What is missing from here? We're looking for three, like that. We're looking for eight, which we don't know, and we are looking for twos, which are anywhere. So, okay. What do we have up here? <coughs> We have twos like this, we have sixes like so, we have sevens like that, I guess. Mm. Eights, I don't know, nines, not much.
Oh, look, I missed this. I missed the six down there. I saw the two blocking this square here. But now I've just noticed there's a six in this column as well. So actually, that's two and six there. So this is our seven. That's oh, going to make it easier. Seven up here. So seven in these squares. And I saw something else. Two. There we go. So this is a pair of seven and two, actually, now. So that might make it a bit easier. So if that's seven and two, six blocks up here. Here's the six. So if seven and two are here, this has to be eight and nine. Seven and two in those squares there. Eight, nine, any help on eight or nine? Probably not. <coughs> Anyway, now the six blocks this square, so here's our six. The missing number here is a two. Two blocks up here. Here is our two. Two across here and down here. That's a two. I forgot to hold down the key. Excuse me. Uh, missing numbers here are three and eight. So this is not three or eight and must be nine. Uh, now I what did I say? Was that a nine? Yeah, there. Okay, so down here, what we're looking for. Oh, this was. What did I say? I've forgotten again now. It was this. Two seven, wasn't it? Is that right? So, th obviously, we've got a two here. If if this was eight and nine, this is two seven. This has to be two seven. So this can't be a two, can it? That has to be a seven. That has to be the two. And down here we are looking for an eight, and back up here we're looking for a five. Uh, no, not a five. Uh, th uh, blah, 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 blah. What is, is it? Seven. Sorry. Um, can we finish the sevens? Looks like there's only one more to go, so I guess we can. There we are. So four and seven are done now. Um, what's looking likely? We have eight blocking across here like this. So here is our eight. We have eight blocking all the way to the top. Didn't quite make it with the mouse, but you know what I mean? Eight blocking back down here. So here is our eight, eight across here. Here's our eight. This is a three. Uh, missing numbers here, 9 is one of them, so here's the blocking 9, and 1 is the final digit we need, 1 across here, and across here, and up here, so 1 in that square, the last number here is 6, I think. Um, not much more to go now, is there really? Looking pretty straightforward from here on in. Well, it's been straightforward right from the start, actually. I should say it's been a very easy game, really. Nine is the last number for that column. And for this block, we are looking still for a two, I think. And across here, we still need a three. And so the three blocks up here and across here, giving us a three in that square. And for here, we will fill it in with a five. And... Um, Hmm, almost there. So, just guess we've just got to look up in this top section here. Um, what do we? Ha what don't we have yet? We haven't finished the twos yet. Can we finish the twos? Uh, not quite. We haven't finished fives yet. How are we doing on fives? So we know fives uh, are in those squares so no that's not finished yet how about the sixes um, not quite uh, eights we haven't done yet there we go eight across here and eight up here so here's our eight eight down here eight up here here's our eight 
and eight across here gives us an eight here that's the final one the last number to place here is a nine um, five blocking up here five blocking up here so here is a five then five is the last number for this row um, what's left Can we do two? We're looking for two, six, nine, that's all. So here's the six blocking up here, so here is a six. And six blocks here, so here is a six. And six blocks down here, so here is a six, the final one. And then we just have two and nine to finish. So we've got a nine here, so this must be a two. This can't be two, that must be two, this must be nine. We have a two, that must be nine. We have a two, this must be nine. And there's no way an expert level game. But anyway, thank you, Guardian, for giving us some mild a mild diversion for Saturday morning. Um, uh, hopefully you have a great weekend. And uh, if you're going swimming as a mermaid, uh, don't drown. Bye-bye.